The Streaming Network is a virtual event provider and a unit of the WISH collaboration. Considered to be Toronto's leading webinar and virtual event provider, the Streaming Network makes webinars more engaging for their audience. A powerful platform provider for webinar success. I was the founder of the Streaming Network. That was my baby over 10 years ago. And as we've expanded by acquiring businesses or incubating them, I've taken over president of the entire group of businesses. Helping their customers run about 100 virtual events a week stood as a significant problem. The organization realized it was high time they shifted to a better tool to accomplish their goals. So our journey has been quite a fun one, actually. We've never really had a central place where all of our data came together. We started off using a tool called Basecamp, and it never really fulfilled all of our needs. And then we started using uh, Zoho Projects, and all of the data started coming together. We can have slots for each customer, and we can have our team go in, put notes about you know, specific information, whether there's a transcript, this client has slides, this client doesn't, um, and it really brings everything together. We found out that it was going to be better suited to help us with what we call micro project management. We spoke to Zoho, they were able to help us customize a couple, a couple of things. And then I got a call from a sales rep who informed me that, you know what, it's not just a uh, project management tool, it's actually a CRM. The switch over to Zoho was manageable for the streaming network where they slowly started learning on their own. Eventually, they were introduced to Blue Root, a major software solution and a privileged partner of Zoho. So Blue Root, uh, we're Zoho implementation partners. We actually started uh, over five years ago uh, customizing just about any CRM, but we really landed on Zoho. And the reason we landed on Zoho, a bunch of reasons, but I would say one of the biggest ones is just more so their vision. We really aligned with this idea of a software that is very focused on their customers, very focused on their employees, and you know one of their biggest objectives is just helping small and medium businesses get off their feet. When Streaming Network brought us in to help them, they had just recently gone through an acquisition, and what they needed was to bring all of their data from Salesforce into the existing Zoho CRM. The decision to choose Zoho successfully brought about the change they had desired. So the Streaming Network came in looking just at CRM, just at projects. And what we were able to do is go to them and really give them the keys to what is Zoho One, which is a, a suite I think of over 40 apps now, I'm not even sure the number. And each app uh, very specific to a certain type of business process. So our role in this is really an educational role, is going to the streaming network, being able to say, this is this app, this is what it does, and here's what it is in practice. Well, with the launch of Zoho One, we had access clearly to a lot of apps, and new ones being added every single day. So our process here is, is simple. We were a small company, considered SMB, and we were rapidly expanding, going from five to $10 million inside of two years through acquisition, our staff, primarily remote because we have offices now um, in Canada and the United States. And so we were doing a lot of things in a very old fashioned way. And in learning not only what Zoho CRM can do, but what the entire Zoho suite can do, we recognized that there was a lot of potential there. The thrive to work with Zoho as a whole combined to make an efficient workflow of automation free from loopholes. So the first automation or unlocking of Zoho potential that we did was the blueprint. So we had an outbound BDR program where BDRs were doing a seven point touch, meaning that they would call an email uh, prospect seven times in the course of um, just over a month. When my team first started using the blueprint, um, it was able to let us get away from dealing with spreadsheets which had thousands of people's names on it and instead of going through that we could just go through the CRM um, and click through different names and already have the cadence ready for us. They had to stay on this cadence. We had hired a, a sales consultant to you know, advise us in this new world. People don't pick up the phone and you need to have this consistency if you're going to get a response. If we're on call one, call two, uh, if we're going to send out this email, that email, it was already in the blueprint. And by a click of a button, uh, we could get to the next stage 
uh, instead of going through all our files and writing unique emails for each of those follow-ups um, or finding it somewhere in our files uh, to send afterwards. To make it more efficient and to hold these new uh, employees accountable, we looked to Zoho and we um, had a blueprint created that had every day they would show up and they would have the phone numbers of the people they would need to call. They would automate the emails going out to ensure that the right emails uh, landed. The voicemail scripts would pop up because no one picks up the phone anymore. And we would be able to track of any campaign that we did, any, any vertical sector or regional sector, we'd be able to track the success of it. Blueprint did allow us to uh, reach out to more people and do it in a more organized fashion. Uh, so instead of, instead of following up with uh, 60 to 80 people, um, we could better follow up with 80 to 100 people um, just because of the amount of clicks that it took the BDR to move people through the system. So Blueprint really put all the, all the pieces to our cadence in one spot and with a click of a button um, we can move on to the next prospect. Barriers come along as growth gets along, where satisfying a customer is the biggest responsibility in any business. We had done three acquisitions inside of 12 months, and I made a decision that each of these acquisitions had their own uh, customer base and their own unique offering. So bringing them under one brand didn't make sense. It would be too disruptive for the customer. And so we decided to use the desk application as a way for us to efficiently leverage our support infrastructure. Day to day, desk works really, really well. I'm always, as I'm going through it, finding certain scenarios where there's like a data point that you might need. A customer has a reporting need, okay? And you can go, oh, uh, they need to know all the amount of tickets that they submitted for 2019. Okay, well, that's actually easily retrievable from desk itself. It, I mean, that's just one point. But it's, once the data is in the system, it's pretty easy to be able to take it and think of new ways and, and other ways that you can massage it and use it later. So I wanted all of our customers to be responded to within 15 minutes by a human with issues resolved or at least a timeline for resolution within four hours. I'm the manager for my team. I have to make sure that our SLAs are met. So if someone does not get responded to within, within 15 minutes, we are able to see the number of tickets that are out of SLA. And so ultimately, if that first tier support isn't met, it automatically gets escalated to me and then it continues to go up the chain. So I don't actually have to be a micromanager. I don't have to be sitting there on a constant hour by hour, minute by minute basis going, okay, is everything okay? I kind of know, I'm gonna get that email. I'm gonna get that notification when it's actually time for me to jump in and respond. The bottom line of any business is marketing, where the streaming network took a step forward in it. Zoho Campaigns is, uh, is a great tool um, for myself and the team uh, to get better qualified leads. So all of those uh, prospects who are coming to our website, you know, clicking on various links, attending our webinars, consuming our content, we track all of that in Zoho and we created a uh, hot leads report. Uh, what we do in the CRM is we have all these people that we're talking to um, in all these buckets and all these lists. And what the Zoho Campaigns allows us to do is contact those buckets and those lists directly through Zoho Campaigns. And what this does for our BDRs is it lets them know which leads are the most engaged. And with an active sync between Active Campaign and Zoho, we know that we're always going to be Castle compliant, which is very important, and that we are only reaching out and talking to those leads that are the most engaged. Uh, so I'm not bringing in any other Excel sheets. Um, I'm just setting up these email campaigns that will go out to specific prospects uh, that I know if we've touched before or if I know where we are in the cadence with those people. Establishing a good customer relationship is a priority that enhances development and the streaming network plugged in with Zoho to function right. From my standpoint, being a sales rep, I'm all about net new acquisitions, getting in there every day, taking a look at my task list, what's my responsibilities today and who am I supposed to be reaching out for. The other thing that I use it a lot for is creating lists for myself, segmenting everything out um, and then being able to keep uh, key 
um, groups of prospects and customers in one bucket, right? Light companies have light needs, and so for me, it's great to keep myself in the frame of mind. Am I talking to technology companies here for the next hour? Boom, here's my technology list. So that's another way that I'll use it is when I'm prospecting, um, I'm creating custom lists for myself and I'm segmenting everything out. In addition, of course, to keeping track of my day-to-day -day tasks for people that I've already spoken to. Being involved in creating things from scratch has gotten me more involved in taking a look at our processes um, and then going back to the team and saying, this is what I think we could be doing better and then I leave it in their hands to come back and say, okay, this is the new process for how we're going to accomplish it. A future-oriented tool was a necessity to keep the organization's expenses in check. We are one company in the background. Wish Collaboration is one entity. Although to the world, we have five different brands and that's growing. And so people don't always look at you know, everything that's in an email. So if we send out invoices from Wish Collaboration, people are gonna be confused. Why am I getting this, this Wish Collaboration invoice when I buy from the streaming network? And so we were able to utilize instances of Zoho Books that would allow us to keep one set of books for the organization, but invoice and collect money on brand from each of the customers. So we send them out, we allow them to click to pay, and we do it all within the individual brand, which has improved our DSO drastically, and again, improves the experience that we are giving our customers. Zoho started as a project management tool, and now I say that Zoho is the engine that runs the entire business. Every progress they make, the streaming network acknowledges a close connection with Zoho. 